Emily, congratulations. Emily, can you tell everybody how long you have had CRPS? Over 13 years. So those are kind of the big transitional years that people deal with things. So junior high to high school, high school to college, college to career, and you've kind of missed out on some of those things, and some you've pushed through and still done, right? Like college. Mm -hmm. So it's emotional, but now you get the chance to catch up and, and do all the things that you dreamed about doing. So I'm gonna give you the floor, okay? All right. Okay. I hate public speaking. Um, I really just wanna talk about like the last 13 years. I'm like, ooh, sorry. Just close this chapter out. It's 10 years old, so I rolled my ankle. Three months later, I was diagnosed with CRPS. I was thankfully diagnosed really quickly. Um, I tried multiple different treatments, and some of them helped, um, but they never, nothing ever stuck or dropped my pain down to zero. Honestly, I don't remember most of it. Um, four years after my diagnosis, my CRPS spread full body, and four years after that, I was also diagnosed with POTS and EDS. I'm thankful I was able to go to school through all of it, even though I was able to go, it put my body through a lot. I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do and was too sick to function like a normal student. But now I can do what I want to do. I don't have to pick and choose anymore. Whew. When I first came to Spiro, I had a slight glimmer of hope, but I never thought I would be where I'm at now. Anytime I tried to do life, I would be in bed for days after. All I could do was go to class, if that, and I was so and go home. I was so dizzy. Four weeks in treatment here, I hit my first zero pain with Annie. And that's when I felt like I finally had hope. I had no idea how much my body was capable of doing. But in the past almost six months, I've learned to trust my body again. And for that, I'm so grateful. I want to thank everyone that supported me throughout my journey and helped me get to where I'm at today. To the doctors, thank you for being a team that let me feel like I could actually express what I was feeling and never doubting me. To Annie, I don't even know what to say. You have been by my side through the whole experience here and I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you for letting me cry just about every day. <laughs> I wanna say thank you to the Lord for giving me this, I messed up, sorry. <laughs> to every other staff member, you have played such an important, important role in my healing journey, and I'm so grateful for all of you. I wanna say thank you to the Lord for giving me these trials to overcome and being by my side through it all. This journey has strengthened my relationship with him and he has shown up through it all. Thank you to everyone who else helped me get here and supported me back home. And to all the patients here, you all are amazing. And I'm so grateful for the special bond that we share. To my family, thank you for being strong when I couldn't. I wouldn't be here without you. There were so many times I wanted to give up. Thank you for not stopping the fight when I felt like I couldn't fight anymore. And lastly, mom, you've been by my side every single day. You never stopped looking for ways to help me, and you were determined to give me a better life, and you did. I can't thank you enough. I love you. I just want to say I am so extremely proud of you. Like, you are not the same person that came into my office. Um, the world is yours. There's nothing that you can't do, and I'm so excited. Congratulations. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, you too. We cried all day. We did. We did. We did. Yes. Last thing. Yeah.